Yo, Coach Schwalick here. I am the head coach of our men's Terra State Soccer program. This vlog series is going to go on throughout our entire season. I'm going to be documenting all of the different things that we're doing from game days to our preseason activities to team bonding, all the fun, cool, interesting stuff and drama that happens here at Terra in our soccer program. It's going to be an interesting time because we are in a rebuilding mode. They brought me in a couple months before the season, so I am rebuilding this program and trying to create a fun, interesting, exciting vibe for all all of the players that are going to be coming through this soccer program. It's going to be grueling. Our preseason is going to be intense. You're going to be experiencing that. You're going to see all the behind the scenes action of what it likes to get to the games, game day, postseason reactions, all of the good stuff. So let's begin with this first episode. It's going to be jam packed because it's going to be all of the cool stuff that happens during our preseason. Now my preseason programs if you're lucky enough to experience them, you will become a very fit soccer athlete at the end of it. Just ask some of my players, but let's dive in with just some action from one of our first practices. watching this footage from one of our first practices and thinking to yourself, wow, this doesn't really look like a soccer team. They don't have enough players to field a full team. They barely have enough to field a full five starters for basketball. You would be correct. So the state of the soccer program when I took over, unfortunately, it was not in the best shape. They brought me in with such a small window to try to bring in players to have an actual season. That's because there were no returners, not a single one when I took over this program. So I was starting fresh and all of the soccer players up to this point that are coming out of high school had selected schools and already knew where they were going. So I was up against the clock under a ton of pressure trying to bring in any players that are in the area that wanted to play soccer that hadn't made a decision on a school or trying to convince some players maybe that were already on campus that just didn't know we had a soccer program to play. It was a crazy time at the beginning of our season, I will tell you that. Enough of this practice, but before we go, take a look at B's push up form. Wow, phenomenal. Okay, now from here, we still have a lot of practices in between that you end up won't seeing in this vlog. Just know that there's a lot of running and fitness that is happening. Then there was a very interesting experience that we had. So, preseason still going on. We had a practice and we were just kind of getting through the warm up, and out of nowhere, it got real dark. <laughs> 
Are we about to be practicing in a tornado? Let's hope not. Let's hope not. These clouds rolled in and the temperature didn't drop like 20 degrees. We'll just get some sprints in real quick. Well, if you can't hear, it's raining quite a lot. So uh, we call it practice for today. Yo, what's happening right now? We are in the middle of a tornado <laughs> drill. Straight cornfields, children of the corn. As our boy Malachi was saying, there was an actual tornado warning. So sirens started going off and thankfully we made it back to campus before that started happening. Then we got into the dorms and everyone had to go sit in the stairwell because of the actual warning in tornado siren. So we hung out there for a little while. Now flip forward and we have some more practices happening. We actually have our first two a day. We've got our first morning practice of the preseason. Boys are getting ready. We're out here on our practice field for the first time. I think it's an old football field. We're gonna have to find some goals, paint some lines. We're getting ready. What's preseason college soccer without some suicides? When I say some, I mean a lot. Brandon here, tell us who you are. Bruh, I mean, from Cincinnati, you know, farthest away from home from everybody else, you know. Just came here to play, trying to win. Trophies for sure. So we're getting about halfway through preseason. Halfway. How's it been so far? You know, it's been all right. You know, a bit ups and downs. You know, I only got six of us. You know, we're pretty close now though. So it'll be a fun season for sure. That's true. Uh, talk to me about the team size right now. We got, we got team just, a few, size. just a few here so We got far. about six, you know. It's a problem showing up to practice every day. We got a few guys that show up every day. My favorite guys, we hang out all the time, so hopefully we all get close, but this is it for now. That's good, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna what's, be. What's the vibe being so far away from home here at, at Terra? Uh, cornfields, rain, and uh, tornadoes, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's been quite the, quite the series of events, I'm Alka. The Chipotle is good, <laughs> one day at a time, and uh, we're bro, going to Florida, you. I said it now. Yeah, Natty for sure, bro. Back from morning practice, now chilling in the soccer office. We gotta get a few things ready, get the full schedule published on social media, try to bring in a few more sponsors, and then get prepped for our next session in the afternoon. Two hours later. All right, a little progress done, and now we gotta go out for session number two. So you may notice there are no goals on our practice field right now. However, I was given a tip that we do have some goals hidden in the forest somewhere. I think I saw them that way, so we're gonna go start practice with a hunt. Are you allergic to poison ivy? I, I can't get it actually. What? Well, the two day went well with our very small squad at the moment. Thankfully, spoiler alert, we do end up having more players joining us. And I think at this point, I was so deep on the recruiting train that I had sent over 500 messages to recruits that had not committed yet on some of the recruiting platforms. So if you were one of those recruits that did get a message from me and you didn't end up joining us here at Terra, look at the fun that you missed out on. All the cool stuff that's happening now and in future vlogs, but for real, wherever you did go, I hope you're having a great experience. Now you see that our practice field did not have goals. We tried to find some in the woods. We ended up not being able to get them out because there was just so much overgrown trees and stuff on them. That is an adventure for another vlog that you'll see. I'll end this one here. We have a lot more vlog action coming your way. We'll finish off the second half of our preseason in the next one. So much good stuff. I'll see you there.